The school year is still just beginning, but these are not the kind of pictures parents want to see kids sitting in the aisle of a school bus because of overcrowding. As News 6's Clay Lepard explains, the pictures have prompted school leaders to act. This video and these pictures were provided to News 6, showing three students to a seat and even students sitting in the aisle in what appears to be well above the 77 capacity for students on the bus. The bus was taking kids home from the first week of school at Freedom High School. We have a problem with the overcrowding in the seats. Now Stephanie, who asked us not to use her last name, and other parents are asking school leaders to stop this yearly cycle of overcrowded buses at the beginning of the school year. Unless people are moving out of Florida, or stop moving into Florida, this is only going to continue to be a problem. It needs to be addressed now before it gets to the point where somebody gets seriously injured or hurt or killed. Representatives with Orange County Public Schools tell News 6 they're looking into the issue. The number of students assigned to the bus where these pictures were taken is less than capacity. However, they say the beginning of every year is an adjustment period where they work with drivers to determine which routes have an overflow of students and if a new route is needed. But that has some parents worried this problem could be a ticking time bomb, putting their children at risk. People seem to be thinking there is no solution. I say there is always a solution for the safety of our children, and I will accept no other answer to that. That concerned mother plans on bringing up the issue of overcrowded buses at tonight's school board meeting, which is scheduled to start at 530. In Orange County, Clay Lepard, News 6.